Hulu announced that they'll be bringing back Futurama, resurrecting the animated show from the dead for a third time. Now with it, most of the original cast will be returning, save for one shiny, cigar-smoking, beer-swilling metal robot, Bender. Although, I gotta walk that statement back just a bit because Bender will be returning in the Hulu revival. The original voice actor John DiMaggio will not. And his reasoning for not returning is a mixed bag of industry exploitation of artists that's become far too corporate in recent years. Now this, of course, according to the Bender OG himself, John DiMaggio. Now from the statements online, according to Deadline, it seems it all boiled down to the proposed offer given to John DiMaggio wasn't, in his words, competitive enough based on the success and name recognition of the original series. Now, mind you, his offer was in line with that given to both Billy West and Katie Seagal, the voice actors of Fry and Leela, respectively, according to Deadline. Now, ultimately, John just wanted more money and he was willing to hold out for a bigger bag. Now, Hulu decided to call his bluff and move full steam ahead with the revival and potentially recasting the role of Bender. But is this the right move for Hulu to make? What kind of fallout will they receive publicly from those in the industry? And will fans accept this revival of Futurama without the original voice actor of Bender, John DiMaggio, attached? Hulu may just have announced something that a lot of fans are hyped about based purely on nostalgia towards the original series, but they may have also shot themselves in the foot. Let's break it down. In 2009, Comedy Central brought back the once canceled animated show for a 26 episode run, which began airing in 2010 and 2011, which then led to a seventh season in 2012 and 2013. Now the thing they did right that time around was that they secured the original cast, all of them. Now, a near decades since the seventh season, Hulu is making plans on bringing the show back, which, has only grown in syndication popularity over the years with many of the stars of the show growing in popularity as well and in demand in the industry. John DiMaggio in particular has since gone on to voice characters on shows like Rick and Morty, Final Space, Amphibia, and Disenchantment, another show by creator Matt Groening. Needless to say, the man is in no short supply of voice acting work. I mean, the man gets it. So when he feels an animated series built on such a strong foundation foundation of nostalgia amongst fans is set to make a comeback, it only makes sense for someone like him to feel there's potential for a strong payday in it for him and his fellow voice actors. I mean, you don't reboot a cartoon that has seen millions of dollars in sales based on merchandise and not expect to make hand over fist in subscriptions to your streaming service as well as potential new merch sales. This will increase the interest in a franchise that's laid dormant for about a decade, which will lead to new memes, new conversations online amongst fans. I mean, it's renewed interest, which means there should be ample interest in discussing deals and making sure to secure all of the original cast members. Because that's also how you secure a successful run and a successful comeback. But Hulu decided to go the opposite direction here. There's plans to recast the voice of Bender. Now there was a casting call that went out while they were supposedly negotiating with John DiMaggio. Comedian James Adomian tweeted out, everyone in the industry saw the audition notice go out two weeks ago for Bender asking for a voice match for John DiMaggio. Seeing it, I said out loud, shove it in my best Bender voice, which will always just be a fanboy cosplay of John DiMaggio. Love James Adomian, you know, he's one of my favorite impressionists and comedians and I'm right there with him. I can do a pretty good Bender impression myself, but it'll always just be a vocal cosplay. The voice of Bender is John DiMaggio's creation and the fact that they think they can just get someone to voice match him and say the lines is a sign of disrespect to the craft of voice acting. It's not just reciting lines. It's about imbuing your personality with the true essence of that character so that it actually feels like something that character would say. This is how that character would react 
in that situation. With them wanting to replace DiMaggio, it goes to show just how corporate the entire situation is and how much Hulu doesn't care about the actual craft of voice acting. And because of this, the internet got the hashtag Bendergate trending. The social media uproar came swift and quick with many saying that they will not support the Futurama revival. It all culminated with John posting an update that read, I've been thinking about everything that's been going on these past months. And just to be clear, I don't think that only I deserve to be paid more. I think the entire cast does. Negotiations are a natural part of working in show business. Everyone has a different strategy and different boundaries. Their price. Some accept offers, some hold their ground. Bender is part of my soul and nothing about this is meant to be disrespectful to the fans or my Futurama family. It's about self-respect and honestly being tired of an industry that's become far too corporate and takes advantage of its artists' time and talent. Look, I wish I could give you every details so you would understand, but it's not my place. Thanks again for the love everyone. Still hoping for the best. In the meantime, I'll be in New Orleans shooting Interview with a Vampire for AMC and very grateful to be. Thanks. See, the man is in no short supply of work. Now you're probably wondering why would any of his cast members, his future Rama family, as he puts it, uh, step up in support for John returning to voice Bender. What about the creator himself, Matt Groening? Doesn't he have a say in all of this? If only it were that easy to speak out on these types of things publicly though, but it isn't. Especially if you're directly connected to the project, your hands are tied. And again, this goes back to the corporate system DiMaggio spoke about in his statement. He said his piece, now we'll have to wait and see where things kind of shake up and end out over at Hulu. Will Hulu find a voice match and move forward with whomever decides to fall on that sword? Or will they finally bend the knee for Bender and give John the amount of money he's asking for to come back? Or will this project ultimately be scrapped similar to what happened with the Boondocks revival after some of the bad press they received upon word of them replacing Granddad after the passing of the late and great John Witherspoon? Maybe it's time for Hollywood to, you know, just stop looking back in the past to bring back these old cartoons, not once, not twice, but three times? Really? Do we really need a show to return three times? Maybe we should start putting our money towards new ideas. Smiling Friends is a newer animated show that Adult Swim has had recent success with. Hell, Final Space was an original adult-oriented animation about the future that ended too soon, but had similar vibes to that of Futurama. It was such a unique idea with a very impressive voice cast. That was one of those shows I felt had so much potential, but it's always about ratings. Now, if you think about it, if it wasn't for syndication on Adult Swim for Futurama, we might have not seen the show return in the first place. Think about that. You know what, if the Hulu revival doesn't happen, you know what, that's fine. And if it does happen with or without John DiMaggio attached to it, you know what, I'll still be here to support it. Not for the corporate machine that is Hulu, but for Phil Lamar, Billy West, Katie Seagal, and the rest of the returning cast that were just as much a part of the DNA of the original show as their fallen soldier John DiMaggio was. I'll watch it for them and I'll cringe at whomever replaces John DiMaggio as Bender. But even that dude will have my utmost respect because after Bendergate and videos like this, it takes some pretty big ass balls to step into the role of Bender after all the flight that you're probably going to receive because of it. So to that person, I salute you. And to Hulu, uh, on behalf of the internet right now, speaking on behalf of the internet, if you don't make good on John DiMaggio returning as Bender to portray a role that he made iconic and famous for many, many years. You can kiss our shiny metal ass. I'm out.